The three most important variables outside of the type of material in my experiment are the sun coverage, the size of the panel, and the duration of the sun. Firstly, I want to ensure that the sun that is hitting the panel is exactly the same. Therefore, I need to ensure each panel is tested at the exact same time of day, uh, as close to the same angle, and the same weather conditions as possible. For instance, if uh, this one is tested at 8 a.m. versus noon, uh, that will have less uh, energy can, uh, capture because the sun at noon will be stronger than at 8 a.m. And similarly, if there's cloud coverage, there'll be less uh, energy capture as well. And then finally, on that point, the angle would matter. The more direct sunlight, the more energy will be captured. If it's on an angle, the bottom half, perhaps, uh, well, it would be gradually less uh, uh, energy captured uh, the further down the panel. Secondly, the size of the panel needs to be thoroughly measured to ensure that the amount of energy captured is calculated correctly per unit of measurement. For example, if something, what well, one panel is 10 square feet and captures 10 kilowatts, that's one kilowatt per square foot. If one panel is 20 square feet and captures 10 kilowatts, doesn't mean they're equal. That's in fact half as many kilowatts per square foot. And thirdly, the duration of sun exposure needs to be identical. This is fairly obvious but the longer uh, the panel is exposed to the sun, uh, assuming the other two variables are consistent um, and take into account, the, the more energy it will capture. Therefore, by ensuring these three variables uh, are taken into account, it will be clear which material will be more effective at capturing energy.